What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Creative Blockman Podcast. Today, I have a person that I've been dying to have on the podcast for for ages. Um, a style icon for me, firstly, a visual artist, um, a man that has actually inspired me, even though, funny enough, this is the first time we're meeting. Um, but thanks to social media, Instagram nowadays, um, you can actually be inspired by somebody that you've never actually met. Um, and that man is Fatwani Mukeli. Thank you for for being here, bro. Like, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, Migs. Uh, I think I've admired you since Justice introduced me to you. And I appreciate that. I mean, the feeling is mutual, man. No, definitely, bro. Like, I've wanted this to happen for ages. So much so that, as like I told you earlier, we shot Justice's episode, when was it? A year ago already, eh? Yeah, literally a year ago, we shot it at your place. Yeah. Um, and like already from then, I was like, no, I have to have Justice. And I have to have Fatwani. Like those are the artists I want. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, we are today. We, we actually made it happen. Uh, I think I'm still a bit in shock that it's actually <laughs> happening. Um, but yeah, very grateful. Thank you, bro. Like this is this is huge for me. This is something, it's, it's what I love doing. I love doing this. I love speaking about art. I love collecting art. I love actually connecting with artists like i told justice as well for me it's more about anybody can walk into a gallery yeah buy an art piece take it home and cool say this is the nice art piece that i bought from so and so gallery for sure. but for me what's important like i actually want to like i want to build a relationship with you yeah. you know what i mean i want to yeah, support yeah. you i want you know like it must become an actual relationship it's not always going to happen with everybody because not everybody can build relationships and be friends and xyz sure. Um, but that's my end goal. You know, it's not like even with the art and stuff with like my website and the stuff that I sell X, Y, and Z, like it's not, I'm selling it because I have a lot of art and I need to get rid of some of my art. Um, and I also hopefully like want to put other people onto it. Yeah. Um, but it's not about like, it's not about the money. Like, you know, it's like I tell everybody, even right now, like what we're doing now, this costs me more than it brings in. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. Like that's just a, sure. it's a money put, but I love it. I'm going to do it regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why like friends will ask me like, how's it going? And I was like, you asked me earlier, I was like, it's slow, but it, it's okay. Like I'm fine with that. I enjoy doing this. I love doing, I love doing this, yeah. you know? So I'm just going to keep on doing it. So yeah, bro, do you want to introduce yourself? I tried my best. For you want to sure. tell us a little bit more about you and what it is that you do, bro? Yeah. So um, thank you so much for all your kind words and all of that. Um, my name is Patwani Mukheri. I'm a visual artist and a man of many talents. I like to call myself that because- Definitely, I, have, I agree. <laughs> I call myself a man of many talents because I have many interests and I explore all of them. And for a long time, I used to box myself into one thing and I realized that um, there's more to life than just focusing in one thing. Mm. And focus is good. You know, you can grow one aspect of, aspect of your life to be better. Yeah. Um, and there will be a point where you can like do everything that you're interested in uh, at the same time. And you won't compromise any because I believe that my life is the life I live. So if I want to paint or want to skate or want to make music, it still feeds off me. Yeah. You know, the, the, the same uh, inspiration pot I take to paint that is the same inspiration pot I take when I put on my outfit or when I want to skate or when I swim like a pro, all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. It's okay. how you express yourself. It's how you carry yourself, exactly. basically. You carry yourself knowing that if I want to do it, I'm going to do it and nobody's going to stop me. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Which yeah, is cool. That's me. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome um talking about the talent let's focus obviously on i think what you're focusing on predominantly now yes. is painting and stuff like that tell us more about like your creative process what like how do you start is it like you take a photo and you'll be like cool i really want to paint this or is it do you walk past i don't know something and you're like wow i want to paint that or yeah so it starts with seeing faces i adore for paintings so i see these paintings before they become what they are so how i see them is by the people i meet in the streets uh when we're traveling with justice we like to go to like rural areas or townships and 
there's more interesting faces there mm. and i'm a portraiture guy i love portraits and i can draw other stuff but i like faces mm. and the first first part of me getting here is realizing oh that's the face i like that could be my muse i think if that's the word mm. yeah, and then yeah, i tell them that hey sorry uh because it might come off as if i'm making or yeah because yeah. <laughs> i also i want to paint you lay yeah. on the chair because <laughs> i also really love painting uh females okay you know a woman rather yeah. um i paint mostly women because i'm celebrating the strength of them or of women yeah based on me being raised by a single woman yeah. a single mother who is a champion and a hero to me and i just find so much beauty and um a way to to represent or celebrate and sang heroes by them these these mm. people are amazing you know yeah. these are our gods they we here life, we know, here we today God. because of these yes. women like no other way there's no man can bring a child into this earth exactly. um so yeah my first part is finding the face and um i think yeah some people know i'm a professional photographer same as justice and we go out and we just shoot and shoot and shoot and we come back here and go through what we shot and yeah and then, then take it from there working yeah mm. okay so you could say technically it actually first comes from photography yes that's where it starts and then it goes into okay it, it, yeah sorry yeah it starts from photography but then also there's referencing right so we go online and we look at things we like we visual people i like i mm. look at a lot of stuff my instagram is not only for <laughs> me dissing myself or making fun or posting things i like yeah i'm always like checking the cool stuff and then i see how can i reference that like you maybe this photo and i'm like okay this is an idea for me to like maybe bring in a guy next to you or a girl mm. next to or a baby there and then mm. i paint that yeah. you know like that's where they were looking for that spark yeah. you know what i yeah, mean yeah, like yeah. okay this is really nice yes. am i going to do this on its own or yes. can we maybe add to this can we make yeah, this yeah, yeah, turn yeah, this exactly. into that and it's oh, reimagining things you know yeah. i reimagine a lot of things it's ideas coming from my childhood and what i was doing when as a kid like you know playing with bricks and then i like mm. hey, how can i reimagine this as an artwork yeah that's what i do yeah. and i face is that all of that you know plants because okay. like, i love plants you know okay many interesting so that's kind of i guess you can and now that you say that you love plants i can kind of see it in the work yeah um, there's a lot of plants in yeah. my work and and they also not just plants i come from a big graphic design background yeah and graphic design taught me vectors and i fell in love with vectors i don't like like 3d stuff i like vectors but then when you are doing cross etching or you are uh painting the way i paint it's almost like 3d yeah. if i mix that with like a vector but what my vector is is going to be maybe a plant or a pattern uh done in the 70s or 60s that i found online you know like yeah yeah always has to be come back to what i like yes of course yeah. okay and now you mentioned graphics graphic design um how did that come about how did you get into like graphic design and what yeah. sparked that interest yeah so we i like to say we too much cuz we twins me and justice yeah and i didn't live my life alone so i still have this guy who looks like <laughs> me. um i grew up in soweto and then uh i loved art from the age of 7 or i discovered that i love art at the age of 7 and then when i got to high school uh we went to langlachte mm. and langlachte is a school that we had to take a train from clip town to langlachte and our first my first train into to go to school i saw graffiti i saw like this face melting face done by rusty and letters by, done by a guy called miser okay and the colors i was like whoa this is so amazing and yeah i fell in love with that and that sparked a uh, graphic design for me i didn't know it was graphic design at the first, at, at at first it's graffiti right yeah but and then later i then discovered there's 
like pop art, guys like uh, Obey and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. ISO 50. Yeah. Then all of that made sense that all, all these visuals, you can make them digital visuals as well, you know? Yeah. And I uh, fell in love with digital stuff. Then, yeah, so. <laughs> so that's how it started, was from basically from graffiti. graffiti. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And like, did you, I think you worked at an agency, yes. but that was for art direction or something, wasn't it? Art direction, but. Okay. So when I got in, I, w- I was already practicing or learning how to be a graphic designer. Like okay. So much. Yeah. I was. I think I was already kind of good at it. Yeah. And got there, my mentor and friend and business partner, Neo, was like, hey, man, uh, the boss here likes you. He likes what you do. Uh, but I think you have two options here. You can either choose graphic design or art direction. And I was like... What is art direction? It's like, no, you'll be an art director. And I was like, okay, the title sounds amazing. Yeah. I'd rather be a director than yeah, a graphic of course, designer. Yeah. Uh, art <laughs> director sounds way better than graphic designer. <laughs> exactly. That's how I chose my career. And they work hand to hand, to be honest. Art directors, with no offense, are kind of the lazy graphic designers. Yeah. We more <laughs> like uh, more ideas. We, yeah. we, we tell people. You what find the do. right visuals for the right. To tag, like to tag to the right story. Yes. Yeah, you find the visuals yeah, for yeah, it, yeah. yeah. And then graphic designers though also, I think graphic designers are stronger than art directors. They just don't want to do what art directors do. So they they want to be told what to do. Uh, okay, so art directors will say, hey dude, this is what I like. This is my yeah. reference. Can you create a thing like this? Yeah. Similar to illustrators as well. Yeah. So yeah, I chose art direction because I thought um, I wanted a good title, but it was so challenging because you need... It's more thinking yeah. than just execution. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. and how was that for you? Did you did like did you enjoy the the whole like ad industry and stuff like that? Uh, I really enjoyed it, and um, I won't lie. Advertising is the sole reason why I'm here, and how okay. I've made it, why I've made it this far. Yeah, uh, I learned everything that I use today. Branding, you know, I was working on like Vodacom and MTN and all those big mm. brands. And they'll say, hey, design the new summer campaign. Yeah. And now my approach for my career, as I, I think it as if I'm designing a summer campaign for Vodacom or whatever. It's like, who's Patoni? What is Patoni coming with for the summer? Yeah. What's the theme? Okay, How I see. How is he seen? Okay, you know, yeah. Because we are brands, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, like definitely. It's like and Mercedes-Benz. Yeah. Two different people. The guy mm. who buys the Mercedes-Benz, is a bit of a bougie guy, I think. Mm. Uh, uh, Shout BMW out Justice. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a BMW guy is a more street yeah. guy, likes fast cars, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the Mercedes-Benz guy is almost like me, but yeah. I don't have a Mac. But yeah, <laughs> it's branding. Yeah, yeah. And I started my career and I said, how, what am I? Am I a Range Rover? Am I a Porsche? Or am I a McLaren? What, you know, what do I want to be? And later, what do you become? As all these brands, they grow, right? They're slowly growing to lux, lux, lux. Yeah, yeah. More, some more um, functional, like different. Yeah, yeah. Know, like a Toyota. What yeah, yeah, what are you? Yeah. And that's how I approached. Okay. Or, and how I still approach my personal brand and my career. And what are you? Are you a Porsche? Are you a Merc? I think you're uh, a Porsche. I've seen, <laughs> I, I've been seeing the stories no, and stuff. I think you're no, a Porsche. No, no, no. I, I, I aspire to be a Porsche. One day I will be. The goal is to get there. Yeah. Because it's timeless. Uh, where I am now, I'd say I'm a, I'm not a GTI. I'm a I'm a how can I I'm still uh, am I I'd rather mm. say a watch. I'm I'd say not a car. What am I? I'm a I'm a Mac. I'm You're a Merc. Yeah. I'm not an E class. I'm a C class. I'm still affordable. C63 AMG. No, no, no. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Close. C43. Yeah. Were, yeah. 63. <laughs> and then watch wise, I'd say I'm a um, Cartier. Nice. Classic. Cartier, yeah. Cartier graduating into Rolex. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, still accessible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, in terms of like inspiration and stuff like that what artists kind of inspire like inspire you like what are the artists that you kind of look at and be like damn his work is like so dope yeah um 
both locally and internationally. It can be anybody. I mean, it's yeah. not. Uh, I, you know, I'm so terrible with names, and you know, inspiration switches all the time, right? Yes, of course. Uh, currently, I'm not inspired by artists at all. Artists. Okay. I'm inspired by music. Okay, that's cool. This is where I'm at now. I'm inspired a lot by. Um, who am I listening to? It's weird. I'm listening to a lot of indie rock. Okay. Which I used to like when I was a kid. Um, but it's a playlist I created. Uh, oh, yeah. I like this guy who, who's inspiring me a lot is uh, Home Shake. It's okay. Very, like, it's not even rock, that stuff. It's, um, what do they call it? Like, lo-fi? Oh, that lo-fi. lo-fi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very nice. So <coughs> okay. I like Melancholy. So his music, Melancholy, my understanding of it is in the middle of happiness and sadness you know yeah. like it's 50 <laughs> 50 yeah, exactly it's it <laughs> like oh i'm not an emo guy but yeah. it's so good okay and, cool. and uh, yeah it's music what's inspiring me a lot architecture nice that's fashion. cool so yeah. i've been observing a lot of architecture deco stuff like um interior design things floors i love i i I'm always looking at my flaws and I'm like, how can I introduce, or how can I bring in like a hair and bone pattern in a cool way into my art, you know? Nice, okay. The melancholy in Home Shake's music. How, how can I kind of bring it into this? Yeah. How can I bring that feeling into my work? Yeah, it's like taking two different styles of art because we had actually had an architect on the podcast yes. um, and that, bro, like architecture is insane. Like the whole process and everything. It's so, it's another form of art. And it's it cool that you, really art, yeah. you you pull from different yeah. like elements of art and stuff like that. I mean, especially it's like you said that you look at your floor and like actually, yeah. why can't I put a pattern that's, I've got that pattern, I've got that mark and that water effect or whatever yes. on my floor. How can I bring it there? Bring it there. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, so like fashion has also been really like a big part of you and yes. I, I when I look up to for Tony uh, to for fashion, this man's <laughs> style is next level. Um, even Thank today you. when I got ready, I was like, no, it means you've got to go a little bit extra today. You've got to put in some effort. Um, Thanks, <laughs> how does that impact? Like, like, do you come to the studio like fully kitted? Like, do you, do you have to feel like I'm looking good today? Now I can go paint or is it just like a typical artist? Like, ah, I don't care, whatever. I'm just going to wear whatever. Uh, you know what I've done for myself? I don't have a special day for outfits. Okay. Every day is a special day, you know. Yeah. And I've got a little theme on my Instagram where I post what I'm wearing every yeah. day. Sometimes I forget, but it's it's quite important for me to really feel good. And the first part of me feeling good, I make my bed. My, this is first achievement. If my bed is, is sorted. You're then good. I can also take an outfit because my mirror is in my bedroom. So yeah. everything looks neat, right? And... The second one, the second victory is I must look at myself and say, yeah, Damn. you look cool. You, know? you look good. I must look <laughs> like the guy I want to see and say, that guy looks cool. Yeah. And this is how I do everything. You know, like even my choice of car is I must see that and say, that's a cool guy. Yeah, I should see myself as a cool guy. Yeah. You know, it's not for anyone to think I'm cool, but it's for me to go, yeah. oh, I'm this whole picture of me is I look cool. good today, yeah. Yeah if, yeah, if anyone would take a photo of me, I must feel like, yes, this is me. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool, you know? Yeah. And I make sure that my out, outfits are like that, you know, yeah. all the time. And everything that I do, everything yeah. that I do has to be cool for me. Yeah. If it's not cool, then it's a very bad day for me. It's mm. not like... The, yeah, like... I like... Um, today's quits, like, let's leave it. <laughs> yeah. I must have fun. It, yeah. It's a fun thing. I want to have fun must be cool yeah because even your place i went like when we saw justice episode like thank bro your place is so dope like thank you it's ridiculous the artwork as well mm. um everything it's it's really you can see that your personality filters into everything yeah, um, yeah from yeah. your artwork to where you live to how you dress um you can see that it's you are who you are and it's not going to change like yes. <laughs> no matter your artwork isn't going to like do this or particular like yeah. you know it's not going to show one story and it's all the same um so now tell me like obviously at this point of your career like things are really going well yeah. uh you've been to several countries i think where you were in 
Where was, was it? Just it was in France. 11. I was in France. Yeah, we were in uh, France recently. Recently, I. How did that like come about? Like how? How and how was that? Like that must have been a crazy experience. Like a very, very crazy experience. It was actually very humbling. Humbling, you know. I mm. think naturally, I'm a humble guy. Mm. I think um, and present, but it also showed me my blind spots. You know, so I was in Nice, uh, in the south of France, in my residency for a month. And got the uh, the stables or the apartment that they had given me looked la- looked nothing to what I had expected, and this is where the landing started, you know. So the apartment was small and all of that, and then the studio was not a studio like this. It was a studio underneath the apartment, and it looked like a pizza oven, like a dome. And there was another big one, like a dome, and I like to put stuff on the wall so you can't really put that. You must put things on easels. Oh, damn. Yeah, because it's Europe. I can imagine it's not like, yeah. it's not like here. Yeah, we don't have, they, they don't yeah. have huge spaces. Yeah. Like The biggest learning I learned there was the arrogance I had accumulated or acquired as I grew. And I had to unlearn it or rather to see it that, oh, this is my blind spot. Mm. I think I'm that guy who only has to live this certain way and forget mm. that I've come from here and all these buffers is a space I can still live in, even if it's yeah. lower than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is me in the south of France. This is a dream. This place is beautiful. Yeah. And it's not... I, yeah, I you like, were expecting yeah, like expecting <laughs> something way more, yeah. Which is wrong, you know? Mm. And that, for me, the experience of my residency was more spiritual than just me creating work there. It was more realigning to myself mm. and finding my center again. Because as we achieve and as we grow and we find whatever it's called success and we ac- mm. acquire material yeah. stuff, mm. I always strive not to be defined by material things, but I found myself there sulking because I'm I don't like the sheets there. Until the day, it took me like a week and a half to start working. And I had like a weird dream where my grandfather visited me. It was so vivid. And he said, you're forgetting the point. You missed the point here. Damn. You're not here to be waking up in a house that has a pool and all of that stuff that you Yeah, beautiful kitchen, yeah. this, this, yeah. You're here to build your career, mm. which feeds to what you've made for yourself. Mm. Why are you now fixated on all of these things? Because you already, you've got that. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. You have it. <laughs> Get here, do what you're here for. Mm. Man, I cried. You know, I woke up damn. crying and I said, damn, why? What, yeah, what happened? What happened why? to me? <laughs> and honestly, nothing wrong. We just sometimes forget and we... Are not present, you know. Exactly, and, and the thing is, you uh, the way I view it is, you've also it's not like you've worked hard. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you've yeah. worked hard to get here. It didn't it's just true. come. Yeah. So you're also allowed to enjoy it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're allowed to enjoy it. But it also, I think it's good that you had that experience because, you know, it, it's that kind of like reminder of, damn. Okay, don't forget, don't forget where you started. Don't forget how you got here. But I think there's also nothing wrong with, I mean, bro, you've worked. I was like you said earlier, you hear sometimes till 2 a.m. painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if anybody does deserve it, it's the person that's put in yeah. the hours, you know? So, yeah, but yeah. other than that, it must have been like, yeah. did you get to create something that you really. One of I my mean, most I'm sh- favorite stuff I did yeah. self portraits that I. Self portraits? Yeah, oh, I didn't that's post cool. them. I felt I was so isolated. I mean, you know, I'm connected to justice so mm. much. I was isolated. I was. Um, Alone, basically. Yeah, Yeah. alone. But the biggest lesson was don't forget who you are. The Mm. place I was living in felt like our house back in Soweto. And yes, you've you've worked, you've done all of these things, but don't forget who you are, you know? And all of those things don't really define you. You know, my upbringing was harsh to a point where no one took me us seriously and my siblings because mm. we were poor but it doesn't mean that we can't be anything and now oh, that of we course, are anything yeah. or we are something yeah. doesn't mean that we must act like everything it must be 
here. Yeah. You know, but yeah. the the lessons was beautiful and we here yeah, um yeah. much more <laughs> you're, you're back home. home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I feel like yeah, I'm, every day I'm like damn. You're back in the nice sheets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I celebrate that every day uh, and you must you you I think you check my post. I'm big on gratitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like life is good, man. Yeah. With all the challenges it has, life is good. It has challenges on me like but it's good man. It's yeah. Good. yeah. Of course. What are like now that you actually say that what are the, some of the some of the challenges cuz it's, it's like I said earlier like being a visual artist and an artist as a whole I'm sure everybody looks at it and be like damn. Yeah. Like, I want to be for 20. I want to I also want to wear that. I also <laughs> want to have the cool clothes. But like yeah. there's so much more to it and I'm, I'm sure there are times that like you sitting thinking to yourself I mean I'm sure you must have like a block every now and then be like Yeah. damn like I don't know what to paint uh, I'm stressed like this this and that what are some of those challenges I think for you because I think for everybody it's to be different like yeah. some of the challenges for justice would be completely different to what they would be for you yeah for me I don't have a creative block at all uh, creating for me is quite uh, uh, the flow there is easy but my challenges is we I think yeah it's battling the imposter syndrome everyone i think everyone does have it mm. and um it's just to constantly remind myself that i didn't get here by mistake and yeah. i just keep on doing what i'm doing because it's what got me where i am and then you know being an artist is like being we are entrepreneurs it's running yeah. a business 100% This is yeah pure business if you painting and no one seeing your work and no one is interested in your work can frustrate you mm. and you have to oh, trust create. me i know yeah <laughs> <laughs> i literally i launched a website with artworks and yeah, yeah, yeah. i know i know, I know yeah, how you feel yeah, yeah, yeah. even though i'm not painting them but yeah you see so my challenge is imposter syndrome but i've i've got a i've got everything or yeah i've got everything i need to to battle that you know yeah. to go sit down to yeah. You know, I remind myself that I didn't get here by mistake. Of course, yeah. But it it hits. You know, you you I work I work in my house or in the studio and I say, "Who are you fooling?" And I'm like, "No man, get out of here." <laughs> I, I've, I've got been, this. I've got this, you know. <laughs> and discipline is one big challenge. Yeah. Uh when you have almost everything you want and everything you like and that everything it like no everything you want and everything that is desirable to others as well and when you are also seen as an example it's a big uh yeah. heavy yeah, it's a weight, weight you know yeah yeah it's a big responsibility and um also just going i don't want to lose what i have oh. i don't want to um mess up i do what if that offer if i turn it down is the end of me you know yeah, yeah, yeah. It's those little things but i've i've lived enough to know that the mind will always throw negativity at you and i so you sit down I've yeah got this, i got this you know yeah yeah, yeah i think also your own mind could also be sometimes a, like a challenge yeah that's way. why i preach i would not preach but i i'm always big on be centered and being centered is being tuned with yourself because mm. when you are not in tune your mind will throw things at you mm. what someone says to you somewhere can affect you yeah. in a way that it will give you a creative block or make yeah, yeah. you feel like you don't need to do this and you stop yeah. what you're doing and you're on the right path yeah i think honestly that's something that i think i struggle with you know like i can have like there'll be moments where like something will happen at like at work at my day job mm. and then i'll be like ah, you know what fuck the shit like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, i'm quitting everything yeah. uh yeah. forget the podcast forget the website forget everything so i mean the fact that you can actually sit down and say no you've got this that's it's also like a strength as well if you if you really look at it which is it's admirable you know it's you it's, it's crazy you're the biggest fan and your biggest cheerleader mm. before anyone can say hey did you doing well because if that person or your partner or your friend or a guy like justice doesn't say you're doing well then i'm screwed yeah I'm exactly yeah. also go <laughs> yeah. hey you're good relax yeah. yeah go for a walk run yeah. center yourself come back and say okay go back yeah life will throw things at you yeah. just 
don't be shit. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. It's like yeah, you yeah. said. You really yeah. have to. Because I've always believed if if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? Exactly. Who's going to believe in exactly, you? Because everybody else is, everybody's going to be like, nah, you can't do that. Nah, it's, it's not going to work. This, this, that. And you have to wake up every day and be like, you know what? I'm going to do this. You're going to fail. I'm going to do it. Because I mean, we're all going to fail eventually yeah. in life. Um, I'm sure you've had failures. Um, and you know, failure stuff like part that. Of success, you know. Hundred percent. One thing I know, like I was thinking about it today. You know, I've never had a time in my life where I was like, "You've made it, bro! It's amazing." You yeah. know, I look back. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I always look back when I got my apartment, my other apartment. It was a dream, but I was yeah. facing the rent. Oh, it's <laughs> tough. <laughs> my car payment is tough. Ten years later, I've escalated higher than that, right? Yeah, yeah. Bigger house, bigger car, yeah. cars, whatever, <laughs> studio. And I look at my, what do they call them? Um, things I have to pay for. Your your bills and your your, your debit yeah. orders. Yeah, my debit orders. <laughs> First of the orders. month. Yeah. <laughs> I look at them and I'm like, why Damn. was I crying? Five years ago with the seven thousand rent apartment. Yeah. Now everything is <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, it's this, 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 the, yeah. You know, and I look back and I was like, I've lived in I've lived in my house for a year and I've had this car for that car. It's fine. The battle yeah. doesn't end. You just yeah. keep going. But yeah. in responsible though. Yeah, don't of course, yeah. No, don't don't, don't go don't go buy a Bentley when no. you can only afford a Toyota. No, no, no. Come guys. Exactly. <laughs> um so one thing I've always noticed is that I don't know if you still do you still have your restaurant? No, I closed it. I closed okay. It. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't a fail. Okay. It was a beautiful life lesson. Okay. We love things and we aspire to be um, things. You know, like I I aspire to be like a restauranteur. Mm. Uh, I did it. At yeah. Least I did it. Yeah, you, you know? did it. And you. You look at, I looked at my friends who own restaurants and like, and when I'm there, I'm like, oh, I like this. I want to be yeah. this guy. Yeah, I did yeah. it. I was that guy and I realized that I'm not that guy. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when we closed, I was like, you know what? Yes, I know. I did it. Now I know. I don't want that thing. Yeah. Exactly. And in the success in it, yeah. a lot of people, but that type of person, it's not me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the guy. Who's gonna be taking feedback from people who will say their eggs <laughs> they prefer them with oil or with butter? You know, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I don't it's, know. A, it's difficult. Um, yeah. It's a difficult industry. They're not. It's not. Yeah. The restaurant stuff. Yeah. So but I had fun. The thing is, like, I actually wanted to get into like what else? Are, there must be something else that you're into. And I, I know you. I, I saw you DJ a few times. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, sure yeah. that's something you're still into. I love DJing. I'm still into it. Uh, there's DJ stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love fashion. So myself, yeah, that's and a Justice, big part of you. Yeah, yeah. we exploring to kind of start our own brand. Oh, that's cool. Um, Damn. I love architecture. Um, the dream is to build a studio slash. Um, residency we're still looking at kind of um land and our finances because mm. it's a big commitment yeah. um but yeah architecture i want to play slowly okay. get into that building cool things you know yeah. cabins uh studios like cool holiday homes that are functional lock up and go so and you could almost say them. like a like a tristan duplessis type of vibe just physical, like actually building, because I know he's more into interior. Interior, yeah, mm. yeah. I think they work hand to hand, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's that kind of vibe. I think Tristan, he's yes, it's the guy's. Uh, oh, I, I look up to that tiger. guy. It's like <laughs> too good, and not in that level. Not like um, for now, not that level. You'll get there yeah, one day. Remember, uh, be your own, be your yeah, own biggest sure, fan. Sure. <laughs> I think um, I want to build. There's a th pro there's a thing I watch called the local projects. Okay, okay. You must check it on YouTube. Similar vibes as what Tristan does, but I wanna do like passion project stuff. Like, okay, find a cool place in Vanda, mm. create a beautiful studio. But I think we'll start. Me and Justice will start with our own studio. We will f we are looking for a place here, not too far. Yeah, yeah. 
a little plot, buy it and then build a cool thing that we can sublet to other creatives and then we can have our studio there. Okay. Until, you know, yeah. So I'll, I'll rent my studio from you. Yeah, yeah please, bro, <laughs> help us with the bond. <laughs> um, okay, so and also like what you said brand earlier, is yeah. that, so would the brand only be um, in terms of the architecture or would it actually be like a clothing brand? No, clothing brand. So the oh, okay. brand would be clothing. We want to do not just basics though, you know, like I think there's so many ideas and things we see mm. and we like that we'd like to create for ourselves and our friends and whoever that finds our outfits interesting. So with my little theme on Instagram where I post my outfits, people say, well, what are those pants? What are these? What's that? And then, okay, you can get that. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. this is our little base. I think you guys would, both of you together, I think you guys would kill that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. you guys would kill our that. Our friends say that. And I think, yeah, I want to give it a try. I think you guys definitely yeah, should. Play with that and yeah. And sneakers as well. We're not me more me on sneakers. Uh, I want to see how to play on that. There's a cool collab I'm gonna be doing with Kaltish on sneakers, okay. customizing sneakers. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so are you gonna be painting on the sneakers? And I'm trying not to. Okay. I, so I'm still conceptualizing, but I don't think I wanna paint them. There's a guy I follow on Instagram who does cooler customizations mm. than just painting. Yeah. I don't want to paint because yeah, the, the painting is like. It's don't get me wrong it's cool. it's it's really cool yeah. but i think it's too commercial now like everybody yeah. every every artist is painting on a sneaker yeah it's um, a first thing to go to yeah uh, i wanna you wanna actually colors design. Yeah. yeah like yes okay i yes, see yes. so similar to like the nike id type yes. of thing but cultish and yes for 20 that'd yes. be cool yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be cool that'd be awesome well now, this year really this yeah, year already so much pressure yeah but we're gonna Damn. do it it's gonna be cool okay and ryan the guy from cultish dope guy you should get Damn. him on the podcast. He's kick-ass. He's so hard to find, but yeah. he's not hard for me. I'll, of course, I'll, I'll of plan. course, for you is that. No, let me not put him on blast because <laughs> he likes. He doesn't like to be known. Okay, I see. He's yeah. known now, but yeah, yeah cultish. Uh, there's no way he's not known. But Everybody face, knows cultish. Himself. Yeah, even Ryan, I follow him. I know oh, he okay, is. Then, yeah, 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 I follow I, him now. I follow him on Instagram. He's he's gonna be champ. known. He's, he's gonna be champion, known. Bro. One okay. guy, that guy inspires me. Okay. So he's one guy who inspires me as well. Because mm. I told you, I love art. At the po at this point, I'm not inspired by artists. I admire a lot of artists, but Ryan is one of my inspirations. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what he's doing with Cultish is, yeah, it is insane. Like and Tyler the Creator. Yeah. Well, well I mean, <laughs> who's not inspired by Tyler the yeah, Creator? Like, I mean, that guy's like, next level. You can't go wrong with Felicia. Felicia yeah. the Goat. Uh, you can't nice. go wrong. Nice. Um. Now, I want to take it back a little bit to the art. So, obviously, art's like, it's a form of communication. Yeah. Um, so, what do you want people to, like, see? Or what, what, what do you want them to take away, you know, when they look at a piece? Obviously, they're going to pick up straight away, like, that's for 20. I know it. Done. Yeah. With me painting a woman in their strength, I think it's almost like how men choose their women. The first yeah. part is... Oh, I'll, I find her beautiful. Yeah. She's great, right? Art works that way. Oh, I like that. And then the next level to it is all these artworks heal me because it's a, I, I got centered and I found myself again in my art in a way that healed me to be the best version of myself. Yeah. And that kind of energy and healing that this work gives me when I'm creating, I also just hope that it transfers to the next person when they see the work and say, oh, I like that. I really like that mm. face or I like that person or whatever. Beyond the, 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 just the beauty of it and the story of the strength of a woman or whatever story I'll be telling in that yeah. artwork, I want it to transfer healing. Mm. And healing is not that you are sick. Or yeah. you're sick. You, it's healing that for me, more emotional and like emotional. spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spiritual. Because I wasn't centered and lockdown came. I realized that I didn't like and appreciate where I am. Mm. And I went, what do I want? And it yeah. was introspection. All There's two things I can live with in this life. It's exercising. This gives me, this enables me to be able to do backflips. Mm. And then number two is drawing. It's art. Mm. And this heals me. It just made me the best 
yeah. as you know myself. And this work, I wanted to do that for the next person. Find the inner child in you. Yeah. Through it or by it being in your house. And yeah, definitely. Maybe just... Yeah, I see like a lot of your work, there's almost, there's like a lot of emotional mm. connection to your work. Um, I feel like I, I, that's what I can pick up straight away. I pick up there's like a lot of emotion behind the work. Cause like I said to you, like I, I look at that woman, and I'm like, damn, like yeah, it's either she's about to go kill somebody, <laughs> yeah. or she's I don't know, very sad, or yeah. you know, something just happened to her. Um, so you can pick that up. Like that's one thing for me when I look at your work. I see like there's a lot of emotion in the work, Thank you. and I think that's a nice thing about drawing portraits and faces is because you can, especially women. Mm. I feel it with women. Uh, like I have a piece from Mars, um, the graffiti artist, yeah, love Mars. Um, and he did a he did a portrait as well of a woman, uh, and this, like every time I look at it, I'm like, yo, yeah, that woman is badass. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. you can you can just see it, you know, um, and and that's the same thing I see in your work. Like you yeah. really just see like powerful woman. Thank you, I think yeah. that's also what what's cool about your work is that you kind of you. It's always reminding people that, like, damn, like, yeah, the woman is the the the, the pillar and the, the rock, pillar. you know. Um, For sure, man, you, that's you you broke it down very well. Nice, at least. We are raised <laughs> by the woman in our community. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, and even deaths are there. Yeah, and to all the deaths that are there, we celebrate them. But the women are there, man. And the woman always, I've I've always said, woman. I learned my emotions, and I got my emotional side from my mom. Yes. It wasn't yeah, from my dad. Yeah, yeah. My dad was teaching me how to be a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what he's going to teach you. How to be a man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, head or the, you know. Exactly. And be firm, this, this, that, you know, which is which is good. You need to learn those things, but you have to have that emotional side yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, because if you don't have that emotional side, I feel like you become lost. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You're going to become lost. You're not going to be focused. You're just going to be doing nonsense and crap all the time. Sure, you know what I mean? Sure. Um but anyway, let's 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 not get into get into <laughs> that too yeah. deep. Um, there's something that we actually have in common. Yeah. Um, I don't think you know this, but well, I'm almost 100 percent sure you don't, you you don't know this. <laughs> um, but we actually both have dyslexia. Like, Hectic, I suffer bro. from dyx, uh, dyslexia as well. That's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. It's something I, I only realized later on in life, um, and I mean, it makes sense. My parents used to work literally from. My dad used to leave home at four in the morning, get home yeah. at like nine at night. Yeah. Um, so they didn't really have time to sit with me and do homework and, you know, stuff yeah. like that. My dad was that. Yeah. 4 a.m., 9, 9 p.m., yeah. Exactly. So uh, I only learned that later on in life. How has that, like, been for you? How's, just, like, having this? Because I know it was, yeah. it was difficult for me, bro. Yeah. Like, you know. Um, I think, yes, for a bit of my childhood, for a lot, uh, most of my child, all of my childhood, it was a big disadvantage. I didn't know it was. Mm. dyslexia I didn't I just thought I was dumb and <laughs> <laughs> you literally took the words out of my mouth yeah, bro. I thought I was dumb but today dyslexia is my superpower mm. um, I've learned to to live with it and what dyslexia helps you with or rather gives you is a problem solving way of living damn like you're saying all these words that i feel like <laughs> and, you know, and i always i try and explain to people who don't know dyslexia so if i'm typing something or i'm writing something on my phone and uh, what's that autocorrecting can't get the word then i have to think of another word that will explain yeah. that so maybe i'll have to rewrite the whole sentence yeah. using a different word to get to the point what i that to the point i want to make yeah based on me not being able to use some words that i can't spell or yeah, yeah. you know like it's it, it just and you know it's crazy sorry to cut you off yeah. it's not even that you like can't spell it it's just that it's just difficult to like put it's the not letters there, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. There. yeah you know what i mean it's, like if you see it and you're like oh yeah of course yeah, yeah. like that's what it yeah. is and Oh man, I think also the most beautiful thing is having friends and people that know this is how you work, mm. and they understand you. Mm. And I, I, it took me, a, it took a while with most of my friends to understand that it's not that I can't spell or I can't express myself this way. It's just it takes you a little bit longer. It takes me a little bit, little bit yeah, longer. It takes me a bit longer. Yeah. And I, even now with my girlfriend, she's amazing. She's like, I, I can tell her 
I'll send a voice note of the word else. I don't know what mm. I was saying. Synchronicity, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, sorry, I can't spell it, but I'll just say it as a word. Yeah. And she's like, no, it's all good. Yeah. And she won't try and correct me. And mm. tomorrow I'll be able to spell it. Or, you yeah. know, like. Yeah. Yeah. On the, uh, on the day, grab, yeah. you're going to get it right. Like, yeah. just sometimes you get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. I've always I've always put it, also, when I was younger, for a long time, I was like, yo, like, I'm just like, I must be just stupid. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. like every time the teacher asked me to read in class, I'm like, I get so nervous and I'm like, oh my God. And then I sound stupid. And then everybody's like laughing because kids can also be like mean. mean. For sure. Um, And that like affected me for a long time, for sure. like for years. Only, only like when I got to varsity and I actually realized like, okay, shit, you have like, this is the problem. Like, yeah. you know. And then um, you were stronger because now you know. Hundred percent, bro. Like exactly. when I when I realized that, I was like, you know what? You've got a degree, you did a, pl- a diploma, and worse off, I did my I did my diploma in copywriting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even make it? And I did it, <laughs> I did it, and you know what? The, the thing is that I did differently. Um, my final year, I said, done. I'm not. I'm writing because you obviously have to write the yeah, ad first. Yeah, yeah. So I wrote my ads, I wrote all my radio ads, but whatever it was. Oh, you started advertising? Yeah, yeah. Crazy, yeah, amazing. I did a BA in marketing communications at Dope. AAA. Dope. And then I did uh, copywriting after that. Okay, great. Um, okay. So final year of copywriting, I said, you know what? I'm done with this. If it's a radio ad, I'm recording the radio ad. Yeah. I'm yeah, recording yeah. it, I'm playing it in class. Yes. Um, and that's when I saw, like I realized, okay, cool, don't write it and present it because you're going you're gonna to suck at it. Make you know it. what I mean? Make the radio ad. I had a friend, his name was Spoo, well, his name's still is Spoo. Um, we call him Buddha. Um, Buddha, yeah. no? Buddha, no, 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 oh, it's yeah. just a nickname. Okay. No, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. a nickname. Um, he helped me with it. I'd walk into the presentation and I'd be like, nah, 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 I'm not reading anything. Press play. Played them the radio ad. You know, one thing, and I'll be quick. So with No, ad- no, take your time, bro. In advertising for me to maneuver myself better, I wasn't good at writing and I was an art director, but we'll find ourselves where you have a copywriter, you have to write TV ads and stuff. Mm. My mentor and boss and friend would say, don't read this script to me. Tell me. Because mm. when we're chilling, because we're friends, you'd see me with my friends and how I tell stories and how I animate them. Mm. It's like, tell me what the script is. Forget about this letter. Yeah. And there I was like, so it's this, open it's that. on this and this. And it says, okay, cool. I love this script. Get the announcer. This is the announcer. Uh, Napster, who was my copywriter, read the announcer. As soon as he tells the story in front of client, you read the announcer. It's like when you go to the client, tell them the story that way. Forget about mm. uh, that. It's a meeting or whatever. Think about yourself. Yeah, present your it. friend's corner. Yeah. It's Bava's corner telling a story with your friends. Just go present that thing that way. Went in there, presented a Vodacom summer campaign. Like I'm telling a story to my friends, bro. Boom. Got when it. I finish, <laughs> Napster, what does it? He does the call to action. Client says, bro, let's shoot this thing. Give us cost and budgets. Done. Like, that's it. You know, <laughs> then, so I mustn't write this stuff. Yeah. I must just, I can write a skeleton mm. to guide me, but I can just now yeah. tell the story. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. It's about telling this. Like even myself, like I love movies. I love movies. I love stories. I'll never forget in school, there was a one book we read. Um, I hated reading it, obviously, but I loved the story. Yes. You know, I I always used to fight, be like, ah, man, please just just read for us. Like don't, don't, like just read. And I used to listen. It was called The Chicken Run. Um, I'm good at listening. Yeah. And actually, yeah. 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 Like for me, audio books. Audiobooks, there we yeah, go. Yeah, audio books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll listen. I've Fantastic. listened to Will Smith's book. I've yeah. listened to a couple of audio books. I'll always, always, always love that, um, the audio side of it. Yeah. And for me, I'll never forget the chicken run. Uh, I'll never, ever forget because it's a out. one. Send me. Because I will, there, send you, I, there must be. It okay, must sure, be. It's, sure. like, it's more like a, I wouldn't say a kiddie's book. We yeah, did it in know, high I school. Them. I love them. Yeah. But I think you'd enjoy it. Um, the story is pretty cool. I'll never forget that. Just because I'll never forget the one year it was, I think her name was Mrs. Dunn. Um, she said, okay, cool. She's, she's going to read the book. I remember that book yeah, like, to this day. Yeah, because to this day. Because I didn't have to read it. I always remember like whenever it was to read or to present, I was like, I'm, I'm better now because I had to learn. 
yeah. through the marketing and stuff like that degree and blah, blah, blah. You had to present. Mm. You have, you to. have to present, yeah. Um, but you've got to realize that that's when I learned. It's like, okay, yeah. cool. Just do it your way. For sure. Do it your yeah, way. You Don't worry about... Know. There's no rules. Yeah. Do it yeah. your way. If you make a mistake, just carry on, you know. Yeah. Work off your mistake. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, obviously, like that must have been. I think, especially in advertising, the whole dyslexia thing must have been pretty hectic in the it beginning. Was for hectic, you. but that's where I found my power, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, it actually made you stronger. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, it made me very strong, and and I mean, there were people would laugh at me writing things wrong or spelling or my <laughs> accent, but I'd never let that uh, kill me. You know, I was like, yeah. oh man, one day carry I know on. Who I am exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, so now in terms of, I'm a visual artist. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting out, and and there's a lot of them. Like I, I see a lot of people on Instagram that are are starting, and like some people are really talented, and I think it's just difficult for them to get that break. What yeah. would you say to them? Like, what's the one piece of advice that you think would help an aspiring visual artist? I think or artist as a whole, actually. Yeah. Keep on working. You need to work regardless of, with what you have. Regardless of what you see and aspire to be, keep on working with what you have. Slowly grow. Know that success uh, is not a real thing. Success is what you make it. Mm. And it's not monetary only. It's also how you, f- actually, it's how you feel more than the money part of it. Yeah. Um, don't um, focus on making it focus on enjoying the present mm. the painful present that you you might be feeling is where the gold is mm. and um that feeling of wanting to be more and wanting more won't end even where nah, never. the greatest guys are they are still wishing they could be like the next guy you know so just focus on being better for yourself Focus on growing yourself to a place where there's good flow financially Mm. because it's important. And if the financial part of your art is not there yet, get a job. Mm. Get a job. 100%, yeah. And let that job sponsor your passion until your passion can buy you off your job. Not everyone will get to the point where they'll make money off their passion. Mm. Sometimes the things don't align the way you want them. Of course. Art is not really about making money, to be honest. And I'm grateful that I make money off it mm. and I make a good living off it. But more than anything, art is for you as an artist to create. You must mm. constantly create, yeah. regardless of whatever you think success is. Mm. Actually, success in art is creating. Yeah. 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 It's actually being able to create more to art. Create, yeah. Yeah. You because know, that's like when you can't create more, yeah, that's if the I problem. Come in and there's no materials and stuff. I'll be depressed. If I can't draw, I'll be depressed. It's not only about the se- selling of it. It's And it's important to sell it. Of course, yeah. But creating is more important for you as an artist. Keep on creating. Okay. Yeah. And last, last thing, is there anything you'd like to ask me? Um... Because yeah, like I've always realized, like yeah. it's always like it always feels like an interview, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. no, 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 this is not, yeah, not an shelling. interview. It's a convert. <laughs> the only thing I'd like to ask you is, um, would you be able to supply me with wagyu beef? Realistically, no. Okay. I don't want to lie to you because I, I think a lot of the people that are actually even bringing wagyu into the country is probably not wagyu. It's probably Kobe beef or, or something. I could be wrong. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm, yeah, yeah. I don't know what people are importing, yeah, yeah. but like yeah, yeah. realistically, the like the actual Wagyu from fucking like Japan and shit like that. Hard, eh? I, pr- I, I don't think so. You are right because funny enough, I saw an ad saying Wagyu beef being grown here and I'm like, but oh, it's how? Not, it's not Wagyu. It's, it maybe the cow is there. Yes, yeah. 100%, but no. Nah. So... I don't want to lie to you and say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be honest and say no. <laughs> no yeah. And then the next one is, you need to come for a bribe at my place, bro. I'm, I'm going to come. Yeah, we must make a, we'll make a, a plan. A plan. I've justice. seen you. You're mean at the bribe. Like, yeah, when this man on now. the bribe. Yeah, <laughs> yo, I'm this man is, now. yo, I've seen <laughs> crazy things. Like even the one uh, video, you can put this, it was like a tomahawk steak. Yeah, you put yeah. it on the fat. Yeah. I was like, 
Damn, okay. Then yeah, it sounds It's different. Yeah, let's do it. I'll bring us some that I can bring. Wagyu I can't bring, but Wars, wars yeah. Chili Wars, I got you. Wars, yeah. Everything, bro. Okay. That I've got you. That we that we can do. Okay, cool. Dope. Sweet man. That's it. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Thank guys. you, bro. Like really, I say this to a lot of guests and I hope I always say this in the same way and even 10 years from now i don't know where this podcast is going to be um but i hope i can still say this in the same way with the same passion um thank you like this really means a lot to me it's not just a it's not just an episode you know where i'm just like ah, oh, i gotta do that like i want to do this and yeah. i can't thank you enough for just taking time out of your day and actually doing this bro so thank you very much no i appreciate thank it you. man thank you so much awesome and to the viewers guys if you enjoyed the episode please Hit the like button, um, subscribe as well, and turn the little bell notification on if you want to get notifications for when I upload episodes. Thank you so much to you guys. I really appreciate you guys as well because without the viewers, um, yeah, this is pretty much nothing. So thank you to you guys. Fatwani, thank you to you. And that's it. Peace, guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank Come you, on, bro. Man, that was nice. That was kicks, bro. Thanks, dude. Thank you. One size eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Nice.